What's up, YouTube? If you haven't tuned in before, my name is Brandon, and this is Beard Guy EDC. I'm coming at you guys again with another video today. Today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Kubi. So this is going to be the Kubi Royal. It's a front flipper, uh, really nice action, cool little knife. Uh, I purchased it in Halifax from Atlantic Knives. Uh, shout out to Jason DeMerchant. Uh, awesome guy, super easy to deal with. Had some great knives there, and I picked the Kubi. Wanted something a little cheap, I was just there for a visit, and uh, yeah, it was... Jason made it really easy, uh, let me look around, see everything he had, let me handle pretty much anything I wanted to handle, and see which action I like best, and I picked up the Kubi, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, it's just going to be a quick little review, uh, just talking about how I've liked it since I bought it, I bought it three weeks ago I think, maybe a little bit longer than that, I'm not sure exactly. I filmed the uh, unboxing of the Kubi in the Robivan, so I got the Kubi a day or so before I filmed it, so... Yeah, there we go. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It was a great time filming, and stay tuned for more. Make sure you like and subscribe, and if you really like what you're seeing, hit the notification button, the little bell down there, and have a great day, you guys. Enjoy. All right, guys. Like I said in the intro, today is going to be a review of the Kubi Royal. This is a front flipper, a beautiful little knife. Uh, my first Kubi, to be honest. Purchased it from Atlantic Knives in Halifax. Uh, great experience. Beautiful little knife, like I said. This guy is the Desert Tan G10 Scales. Uh, feels really nice. It's a little bit smooth. Could have done with a bit more texture. You can see they have a little bit of a, a cutout design in the scales, so it adds a little bit of texture to it, but it's a little bit smooth, so they could have done with a little bit more texture to the scales, but all in all, they're pretty grippy. There's a bit of jimping on the blade there, so you can kind of hunker down on that a little bit there, the bit of jimping. It's kind of nice. Uh, the liner lock is a little bit of a hot spot because it sticks up a little bit higher than the scale. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it sticks up a little bit higher than the scale, so when you're holding on to this knife, it is a little bit of a hot spot against your finger there. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's enough to notice, and uh, it's worth noting. But uh, the action on this guy is great. He's got ball bearings. You can spotty flick it. Uh, you can thumb flick it, or you can, like I said, front flip it, which is my favorite deployment method for this knife. Super speedy and uh, snappy. Very nice little front flipping action. So this guy comes in uh, D2 steel. So far the edge has been very sharp for me. I've only used it for cardboard boxes as of yet. No blister packs or anything, but uh, for the last couple weeks of cardboard boxes, she is holding up well, mostly cutting tape to open the boxes, not so much breaking them down. But I do break down the odd box. So. Uh, yeah, the knife is pretty great. It feels nice in the pocket. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Because the scales aren't so textured and they're a bit smooth, it allows it to slide out of your pocket pretty well with that deep carry pocket clip. So that is a little bit of a pro with having the smoother scales. I just prefer something that's a little bit, uh, has a bit more traction. So it feels a bit more sturdy in the hand when you're holding it. But all in all, it does have a bit of a texture, as you can hear but it's just not as textured as I would usually like in a G10 scale. It just feels a bit smooth for my taste. But overall, it does definitely have a bit of grip, especially with that jimping there and a little bit of jimping there on the liner, so you can definitely hunker down on it. It is a sturdy knife, even though it is a bit smooth. Uh, you can get four fingers on it easily. Uh, still have a bit of space here at the end, but four fingers is comfortable, and you got that jimping on the blade to lock down on, so you can get a good secure grip on it. Do some chopping. It's a pretty small knife. I believe the blade is 2.9 inches of uh, D2 steel. As I said, it's going to hold the edge pretty good. I haven't had any issues with D2, especially with a coated blade. Sometimes without a coated blade with D2, you'll get some corrosion issues. It'll rust a little bit. But I find when your D2 blade has a coating on it, it definitely gives it that little uh, corrosion resistance factor, which is nice to have because D2 is not a stainless steel, it is a tool steel, or a semi-stainless steel as some people call it, because there is some chromium in it. But it will rust, so or corrode, so it'll get little pits in it if you don't oil it or take care of it over time, or in this case if you don't have a nice black coating to protect it. So as I said, the Kubi Royal, in my experience so far in the last three or four weeks, it's been a great knife. Uh, I've used it, I want to, not every day, but I use it at least a couple days every week. Uh, the action is really nice, the bearings are smooth, Closes real nice, opens real nice, no matter how you want to open it. Like I said, thumb flicking is definitely the most satisfying action for this knife, but you can open it any way you want. It's pretty easy. The bearings are really smooth. 
The blade steel is great. I've strapped it probably two or three times. Haven't had to sharpen it yet. Uh, holding up super well. Can still shave hair, let alone cut paper. Very nice D2 steel. And yeah, I had a great experience buying this knife and uh, I've enjoyed using it ever since. Holding up to everyday tasks pretty well. And all in all, no complaints about the Kubi Royal. Uh, I was thought about getting the JG10 version and dyeing them, but honestly, I really like the look of the tan scale. It's one of my uh, favorite colors in knife handles, so the tan scale on this guy looks really cool. And yeah, I just picked it up, and I've been very happy with it thus far. If you're thinking about getting a Kubi, uh, definitely pull the trigger. They, they are great quality for the price. I think this guy was 50 bucks. So for $50, getting D2 steel and G10 handles with stainless steel liners, there's nothing wrong with that. It has a nice deep carry pocket clip, which you guys know I love. Uh, I might have to do a maintenance day video one of these days when it gets a little dull. Do some stropping and take it apart and clean it up for you guys. But for now, just a little review, just to let you guys know what I think of this Kubi. My first experience with a Kubi, and so far so good. No, no complaints. They, uh, they definitely make a good product. Nice sharp edge, nice action, and it could have done with a bit more texture, but all in all, it is a great knife. Uh, no real big complaints with it, just a couple small little nitpicky things, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the Kubi Royal front flipper. Great little pocket knife, and I guess we will jump on into my carry for this evening. So, I am carrying the Civivi Elementum Tanto. Beautiful little knife. Also a pretty nice action. Real nice and snappy. This is just a regular flipper, a rear flipper, not a front flipper. And... I have my Weave Enter. Beautiful little knife, also has a great action. Whether you want to thumb flick it or spotty flick it, super easy to open and close. So yeah, carrying light tonight. Uh, I don't have a flashlight on me at, right now. I just uh, have those couple knives. As I said, I'm carrying pretty lightweight, uh, just wearing some sweats. And yeah, that's my carry for the night, and that's my thoughts on the Kubi Royal. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, definitely had a lot of fun shooting it and talking about the knife. One of my uh, favorite front flippers. Uh, I actually only have two or three front flippers in the collection right now, but uh, I have handled a few others. The action on this guy is really nice. It takes you a couple flicks to get used to it. It's not as natural as it is on the O-Knife Splint or maybe the Concept Prickle that I have. But uh, it is a very nice front flipping action. It just takes a couple minutes to get the hang of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of content. Uh, just a quick little video for you guys to run down through the Kubi Royal. And just show you the couple knives that I'm carrying in my pocket tonight in the garage while I'm filming this for you guys. So as always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the notification button down below if you really like what you're seeing. And have a great day and take her easy.